Mac Foster, winner of 30 out of 31. Ali has only lost one fight. That's a Joe Fraser. He has won 34 out of 35. Here we go. Both of those left hooks by Foster Landon. First one to the body and the second one to the face. Now in the white trunks. The left cut in, the right missed. That left. Angelo Dundee is saying to Ali, stick, Daddy, stick. Meaning with the left. That right landed high on the head of Foster on the left side. Short right caught Ali. Left landed by Ali. The right miss. Foster's face shows just a bit of red. Those punches missed. Those landed. Ali is forcing the fight. That right landed on Ali's face. That right just grazed Ali's face. Some of those punches were partially blocked. Frankly, uh, most people didn't expect Ali to come out smoking as it were. That left went into the right side of the body. Foster's original plan was to lay back for four or five rounds, but Ali certainly is not giving him any opportunity to do that. Foster has never gone more than eight, by the way. And that was his last fight in Switzerland. That left grazed Ali's face. About ten seconds left in this first round. There's three lefts were in there by Foster. Bell should be coming up. There it is. And of round number one. But O'Can Arena or Hall, as I started to mention earlier, seats about 15,000 for a fight, and you are not allowed to smoke in here. It was built in 1964 for the Summer Olympics and was used exclusively for the karate competition. Since that time, however, it has been used for judo and kendo competition. Now, kendo competition involves the use of bamboo swords. Over and above that, I plead ignorance. Other fights have been held here. And as a matter of fact, when it's used for another function or occasion, it's called the Dokan Hall, such as it was when the Beatles performed here back in the 60s. Ten-second warning whistle will be coming up for round number two. In a semi-final, by the way, Alonzo Johnson outpointed Henry Culpepper in a 10-rounder. Boy, Ali is trying to make that prediction of round five come good. He's really throwing punches. That left lead by Foster was short, aimed at the midsection. He took a left to the face, another left by Ali. Oh, 
That left got in by Foster to the midsection. Three rights, four, five. They all got in by Foster. Foster is landing. That left was low by Foster, unintentional. Rounds half over. That was a good right to the left side by Foster. That left got into Ali's stomach. That right was blocked. That left got in. That left got in. That right to Ali's side. Another left to Ali's midsection. Those blows are landing. Another one. Another one. I don't know that you can see those. That left got in. Those left scored by Foster. Ali bleeding slightly from the nose, evidently. Foster having a good round. That was high on the head by Ali. That shook Foster up a little bit. That left hurt Foster, another left. Twenty seconds left in this round. Ten. Ten seconds left. That left was good. Here comes the bell. Mac Foster uh, from Fresno, California. 211 and three quarter pounds, 29 years old, he's six foot two. You have to say that he's definitely an underdog in this fight. And he has never gone more than eight rounds. Now you're looking at the ex heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Muhammad is uh, telling his manager, Herbert Muhammad, that he is ready, meaning Foster. Ali has predicted he would go in the five. The champ, of course, if he gets past this one with Foster, has a date to meet George Chavallo May 1st in Vancouver. That's assuming it's by Foster. Round three coming up. Mac Foster in the blue, Ali in the white. Ali with a 14 and a quarter weight pull. Right cross was no good by Foster, was blocked. He's digging a left into Ali's midsection. Those lefts are landing by Ali, by the way. That one was blocked. It's eight out of nine, nine out of ten, eleven out of twelve right now, and they all landed. That right cross was good. Uh, right cross again. are going in there. He snaps that left hand in there. That left hand hit Foster right in the face. Left hands are going in there. Those punches scoring. That 
left hook by Foster landed too. Although more in the neck than on the uh, jaw. Good short right cross by Ali Scord. That left hand is bothering Foster now. About 45 seconds left to go in this particular round, round three. The referee is an American, John Clauder. Judges are Japanese. Those left hands landed. That right into Ali's midsection landed, but it was light. About 20 seconds left in the round. Angelo Dundee saying just box daddy as he talks to Ali. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. That hurt. That hurt. That right land of Hans Foster said there's a bell ending round number three. This is the first heavyweight fight ever in Japan. Mac Foster, 13 major campaigns in Vietnam. One and a half years of service there. Muhammad Ali is something. As I started to tell you, this contest is going all over the world. Sample is 25 to 1 here in Tokyo on a Saturday afternoon. It's 25 to 11 in New York Friday night. 25 date in California Friday night. 25 to uh, 6 in Hawaii Friday afternoon and 25 to 2 in Australia Saturday afternoon. We have a 14-hour time differential between here and New York. Takes a little getting used to. Round four. Jab it, mommy. Jab it. Jab it. Lancing blows by Ali, but they are landing. Foster basically a counter puncher. These are eight ounce gloves, by the way, that they're using. That left hook was a glancing blow by Foster. All glancing blows. All glancing blows. The last one, of course, missed. That right did land on Foster's face. Foster, a little rocky. Foster, a little rocky there for a moment. Ali has said he would finish him in five. Those blows by Foster are ineffective at the moment, anyhow. About 50 seconds left to go in round number four. Foster has never gone more than eight rounds. I don't know if you can hear Angelo Dundee in the background yelling at Mohammed to keep sticking, meaning with that left. Some of those blows by Ali were glancing, some were good hard blows. 20 seconds. Ten seconds left in round number four. Good round for Ali.
Japanese fight fans evidently like it. Here comes round five up. You're looking at Mac Foster's corner. This is the round, of course, that Ali predicted he would end the fight in. Round five. You know, Mohammed is going to meet Chavalo, George Chavalo, May 1st in Vancouver. And then if he gets past Chavalo, and assuming he wins tonight, he is signed to meet Jerry Quarry, June 12th in Las Vegas. Of course, all of this is a long-range projection for the impending Frazier fight sometime, hopefully in September. You're watching Ali in the last round, scoring effectively. Now here we are live again, round five. This is the round that Ali said would end it. Foster, the ex-Marine, trying to stay in there with the ex-heavyweight champion of the world. That blow was blocked. That left by Foster got into the midsection. He took that left on the cheek. He's digging into Muhammad's body there with short left and rights. Those blows were blocked by Ali. That one scored. There was score. A little more than a minute and a half left in the round. A little less than a minute and a half left in the round. Foster's face is beginning to show some marks. One minute to go in round number five. Foster is taking a lot of punches, especially around the head. This is the round Ali said he would end it in. 40 seconds left to go. John Clauder is the referee in American. Coming up, 15 seconds left in round number five would say that Dali isn't going to make good on his prediction. Less than 10 now. Five. There'll be no knockout in this round. There's the battle. Can Arena in Tokyo. Scene of this fight today. The first heavyweight fight ever held in Japan or the Far East. Muhammad, of course, is looking forward to uh, winning here tonight, defeating Chavalo on uh, May 1st in Vancouver. Quarry June 12th in Las Vegas so that he can get to his goal of Joe Frazier in September, either in Los Angeles or Houston. Ali is getting 200,000 for today's fight, lost 80,000. Here's round five, and it shows Ali at work. He would come live back again, round six. Ali. 
Foster looked a little tired in round four and five. He weighed 211 and three quarters. Physically, they're well matched. Ali, 6'3", Foster, 6'2". Ali, an 80-inch reach, Foster, 79. Ali, 30 years old, Foster, 29. Ali has a 14 and a quarter pound pull. 226 to 211 and three quarters. Light flows by Foster to the midsection they did land. Well, now that Ali has not been able to knock Foster out in uh, five, he's changed his strategy now and is boxing more as opposed to punching. Foster is strictly a counter puncher. The left landed alongside the right ear of Foster. That was blocked. It sounded better than it looked. There's no smoking here in Badokan Arena. Plus, Foster's purpose in this fight was to try to cut the ring off on Ali and uh, cut down the size of this 20-foot ring. Ali bouncing around like a, a lightweight at the moment. That left hurt. About uh, 20 seconds left to go in round number six. That left landed flush in Foster's face. Here's the end of round number six. For what it's worth, I have Ali ahead about five to one. You're looking at Mac Foster, the ex-Marine. 31 fights, won 30 by chaos. And only lost one, that's to Jerry Quarry. That was in Madison Square Garden, June of 17th of 1970. He lost it on a TKO in the sixth round. Mac has fought such heavyweights as Dad Spencer, Cleveland Williams, Zorro Foley. His last fight was in Zurich when he KO'd the Italian heavyweight Pepe Ross in an eighth round. And that was on the same card that uh, Ali was on. Ali KO'd Jurgen Blinn in seven. And that's Ralph Gambino, his trainer, who was talking to Mac Boss. Now you're looking at Angelo Dundee and Muhammad Ali. And we're coming up for round seven. Budokan Arena, Tokyo, Japan, Saturday afternoon. Using the full 20 feet of that ring. The referee is John Porter, an American. The judges are Japanese. Takeo Ugo and Hiroyuki Tazaki. Foster's trunks are blue, Ali's white. Some of those lefts by Ali are blocked, some get in. The 
those two lefts by Foster scored, although they were light. Raising right by Foster. This, of course, is what Foster loves, to get Alley in the corner so he can bang away at the body or put him on the ropes and do the same. Those shots are going in. And he is making no effort, Ali, to stop it. This is what he did with Frazier. Now he's trying to prove something to Foster. what that does, uh, what Alley did, allowing Foster to bang him in the midsection like that, is that uh, jazzes Foster up. It gives him a little uh, encouragement. Running out of time in this round, about uh, seven seconds left. End of round number seven. Amanori Mac Foster from Budokan Arena in Tokyo, Japan. And the rules in the scoring system here, of course, are Japan Boxing Commission and World Boxing Association. You're looking at Mac Foster, who had a good round in that round, and I would say that was his first round since the second that he has taken. That's Ralph Gambino, his trainer, and leaning over the corner with the bottle in his hand is his manager, George Stassi, who's only had his contract since about last November. And you're looking at the referee, John Clauder, an American. The judges are Japanese. Boxing was introduced to Japan in 1905 by an American. Now you're looking at round seven, and you're looking at Foster banging Ali to the body and doing it very well. Now we're coming back live. Foster up on his feet. Ali already on his. Round eight. That's Ali's corner you're in right now. Ali's corner is directly above us. Those lefts aren't getting in. Foster loves that when Alley gets into a corner or he can pin Alley on the ropes. Because Foster is not the equal of Alley when it comes to boxing, that's obvious. Those lefts are going in. Those three punches by Foster, short left uppercuts, they landed. Those lefts are landing, too. Foster's face is a little red, but uh, relatively unmarked. There's not a mark on L.E. so far. We'll win round eight with a minute to go. This is what Ali allowed Joe Frazier to do. But uh, Frazier's punches, I'm quite sure, are a lot hotter than uh, 
Foster's at the moment. Why Alley allows Foster to do that, I really do not know. 20 seconds left to go, round number eight. Let's go, let's go! Let's go! There it is. There's the bell, ending round number eight. These are eight-ounce gloves that are being used. As I started to say before, boxing was introduced in Japan back in 1905 by a, an American named A.M. Lowry, who was an athlete visiting in Japan for the purpose of studying jujitsu. And the first Japanese champion ever in boxing was Yoshio Shihari, who won the flyweight title in 1952. In Foster's defeat by Jerry Quarry at Madison Square Garden, he readily admitted that he did freeze and admitted that he put up a poor showing. As a matter of fact, he wrote to the New York Times apologizing for his bad showing. But here he comes up for round number nine now, Foster and Ali. But Okan Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Telecast going to 30 nations and approximately 100 major markets in the United States. Alley boxing now, again, using the 20-foot ring and moving around. Short right caught Alley as he was going back. snaps that left hand. It's not a jab, it's a snaps the wrist. That left hook caught Foster on the nose. He's befuddling Foster right now. This is a 15 round fight. That right cross by Ali Land. He's boxing the years off Foster right now. Fifty seconds left to go in round number nine. Half a minute left to go, round number nine, Muhammad Ali and Mac Foster. The ex-Marine getting a boxing lesson from the former world heavyweight champion. About 10 seconds now. Here it comes. There's the bell. You're looking at Muhammad Ali. Angelo Dundee, 
In Muhammad's corner, he's handled seven champions, Sugar Ramos, Ralph Dupas, Carmen Basilio, Luis Rodriguez, Willie Pastrano, Jimmy Ellis, and of course, Muhammad. His brother, Chris, brought him into the game. Now you're looking over in Foster's corner with Ralph Gambino, his trainer. Now here's some of the uh, action in round nine. You can see that left hand of Ali's going in there. And he really boxed Foster in that round. There's the ex-champ. Coming up for round number 10. Mohammed two. 26, the heaviest of his career. Foster, 2'11 and 3 quarters. Physically, they're well matched. Muhammad's 30 years old. Mack is 29. Those punches are going in there. I don't know if you can see that as well as I can, but they are going in. They're not heavy punches, but they are going in. Those punches lack steam, but uh, Foster, of course, trying to uh, set Alley up. That's possible. John Clauder, the referee, separating. Alley, of course, predicted he would stop Mac in five. We are now in round ten. It's a little after one here in Tokyo. 11 Friday night in New York. 8 Friday night in California. Saturday afternoon here in Tokyo. <laughs> One minute left to go in round 10. Rocky Elke, my colleague, you have something to say. One of the Japanese moving company called uh, Katsu Production is make, making a documentary film up to uh, heavyweight champion Joe Frazier's fight uh -huh. for six months. Uh, they're, they're going to follow him. Uh -huh. Half a minute left to go in round number 10. Mohammed looks a little tired right now, just a little. This is the first time Foster has ever gone past eight rounds. We're now in the 10th round with about five seconds left to go. Punch hurt Foster. That punch hurt Foster. He's a little rocky. That was a good left hook by Ali. Uh, you're looking at him right now, just at the bell, and it shook Foster up a little bit. Foster is ranked number ninth by the World Boxing Association. Ali, number one. Sally has been down three times. On each occasion, it was the result of a left hook in his career. Of course, Sonny Banks decked him back in 1962. Henry Cooper knocked him down in London in 1963. And, of course, Frazier had him on the canvas last year at the Garden in the 15th round. Now you're watching Ali in round number 10 this week. See that left hook that shook Foster up just at the bell? Now we're back live, coming up around 11. There's a slight swelling under the left eye of Mac Foster. Oh, 
I would say if it goes the full distance, the only way Foster could hope to win this would be to knock Ali out. If it goes the full distance, Ali has got to take the decision. <laughs> Ali talking to some of the Japanese fans at ringside. Glancing right, glancing right. Those blows are all landing. Foster is hurt. They're all landing. About a minute and a half left to go in the round. Well, he may be a little tired himself. Maybe that's why he cannot follow up. John Carter looking at both men. A minute left to go in round number 11. Some of those blows are going through, some are blocked. The right lead did did score. Those punches aren't scoring. Foster is groggy. Fifteen seconds left in round eleven. Ten. Plus, if he knocks him down, if Ali knocks Foster down, the referee will continue to count. There's the bell. A very good round for Muhammad Ali here at Budokan Arena in Tokyo, Japan. The first heavyweight fight ever in Japan and the first ever in the Far East, being telecast to 30 nations. An estimated 100 million boxing fans looking in across the world. And this, of course, is going into approximately 100 major markets in the United States. This arena seats 15,000 people and was built primarily for the 64 Olympics and was used exclusively for the karate competition. However, since then it has been used for other things. The Beatles performed here in the late 60s. And they've had other boxing bouts here as well. You're looking at Mohammed. Angelo Dundee is trainer working over. Now we go back to the 11th round. And uh, you can see some of those punches and how tired and a little bit groggy Foster was. Here we come live now for round number 12. Foster has a mark under his left eye and he's still a little groggy. Of course, these punches are cumulative. They take their toll over the period of rounds. Foster is definitely weary. Now lay at 226, the heaviest ever in his career. Those blows are comparatively ineffective by Foster. They are landing. The ex-Marine having a tough time of it tonight. Mac Foster. 13 major campaigns in Vietnam. A year and a half service. Started his boxing career here in Japan, not too far from Tokyo. Won the service heavyweight championship. But he's tired now. He's never gone more than eight. 
Both fighters are a little weary now. Foster more so than uh, Ali. John thought of the referee saying something to Mac Foster. Minute left to go in round number 12. Muhammad Ali's family is here as well as uh, Mac Foster. Father and four brothers of Mac Foster here today. I believe Muhammad's mom and dad are here. 40 seconds left to go in round 12. Had landed that right. Twenty-five seconds left to go around. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds left in round twelve. Foster pretty tired right now. There's your bell. Ali looking forward to his next fight, I'm quite sure, right now, at any rate. May 1st in Vancouver against George Chevalo. You're looking at the sign telling you that round 13 is coming up. A wide shot of the ring in Budokan Arena, Tokyo, Japan. Referee John Claude, an American referee, just informing the fighters, round 13 coming up. And if Ali should defeat Chevalo in um, Vancouver, he would then meet Quarry in Las Vegas on June 12th. Now we're back to uh, action in the 12th round, and you can see Ali scoring here. Back live. The ringside, Bado Can Arena, round 13. You're looking at Mohammed and Angelo Dundee, his trainer. Ali dancing around now using the 20-foot ring. Foster's taken a lot of left hands tonight. I'm used to attending fights at nighttime. Ali jamming away and moving around. Two minutes left in the round. Ali on his toes here in round 13, jabbing away. Foster's only hope at this point is a knockout. That was a glancing right hand by Ali. Foster seems to have lost a lot of the power in his punches. Ali, 30 years old, Foster, 29. Ali, 6-3, Foster, 6-2. Minute left in round number 13. 
Half a minute left to go in round number 13. Ali just moving around Foster and jabbing his head off. Ten seconds. Foster is corner yelling at him, get on him, get on him. But I'm afraid Mac is kind of tired. But O'Canarin in Tokyo, Japan. We're coming into the home stretch in this 15-round fight between the ex-heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali and ex-Marine Mac Foster. Foster is about to suffer his second professional loss. He had won 30 out of 31 with 30 knockouts. His only loss to Jerry Quarry in the Garden about two years ago. At which time, he felt he was ready for the fight, but now he readily admits that he was not. He was in over his head against Quarry. Now you're looking again at some of the action in round 13, which just ended. That is a light blow by Foster, that particular left hook. Now you're back Lyle again. And we're coming up to round 14. There are eight-ounce gloves the boys are using. There was some talk of six-ounce gloves, but that died a morning. The eyes of Mac Foster are beginning to be marked a little bit from that flicking left jab of Ali's. Ali is unmarked. Foster is tired. But Game Lee keeps coming in. It's a 20-foot ring they're using. Similar to uh, the size of a ring in Madison Square Garden, for example. Right over our microphone right now. The judges are Japanese. The referee is an American, John Clauder. It might be possible for us to get the official scoring before we leave the air. Unofficially, I've only given Foster two rounds, the second and the seventh. Foster too tired now to be effective. A minute to go, less actually, in round number 14. Foster's only hope now is to be able to stay the distance. Both boys are tired. Half a minute left to go. That long right landed by Foster. Foster is groggy again. Ten seconds left. If he gets knocked down, of course, the referee will continue to count, even though the bell sounds. Here we come for the bell. Well, it's going to go to full 15. Whether it lasts 15 is something else again. You're looking at Ali, the former heavyweight champion of the world. At 226, a 14-pound weight pull over Mac Foster at 211 and three quarters. 
His next bout will be against George Chevallo, May 1st in Vancouver. And after that, if he should defeat Chevallo, he will meet Quarry. June 12th, Jerry Quarry, June 12th in Las Vegas. All of this, of course, with an eye toward hopefully meeting Joe Frazier late in the year. Now you're looking at Mac Foster. Referee John Clauder going over to tell his corner that it's the last round. Sonny Stassi, his manager leaning in, Ralph Gambino, the trainer, talking. Now you're looking at Angelo Dundee and uh, Muhammad Ali. Last round, round 15. The Dokkan Arena, Tokyo, Japan. Mac Foster's eyes are marked up. No way Foster can win the fight, except by not. <laughs> Ali dancing around on his toes in this 20-foot ring here in the 15th round. Heavyweight champion of the world. On his way to his 35th victory, the ex heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali, he's only lost one. That's the Joe Frazier. Round 15 is half over. It's a five point must system. Uh, winner must get five points. If he knocks a man down, he automatically gets two. A minute and ten seconds left, and it's all over. One minute to go. Muhammad Ali on his way to victory. Foster's eyes marked now. At 226, the heaviest of his career, but he's still dancing around like a middleweight. has taken a million left hands tonight. Half a minute left to go, and it's all over. Twenty seconds. Monster's nose red, his eyes swollen. Ten seconds. No knockout now. Five. That's about it. has clearly outpointed Mac Foster today here at Budokan Arena in Tokyo. But we'll wait for the official decision. And a march of victory from here to Kankakee, Illinois. And now, of course, Ali looks forward to May 1st. And a fight with George Chevallo.